Since he was trying to do uh, it to me, but it wasn't working. It was. When you say it wasn't working, was it hurting? Yes. So. All right, the objection is overruled as to that question, but counsel, please refrain from asking leading questions. Okay. Um, how did your father react at that stage uh, to things hurting you? Um, he was nice about it. He didn't want to hurt me. Um, so what, what would he do if something was hurting you? Would he continue to do it? Would no, he'd stop. stop. And did you ever use that wooden thing on yourself when he wasn't around? No. Did you know why he wanted you, did he say why he wanted you to use that thing? Yes. What did he tell you? I don't remember exactly what he told me, but I knew why. It was so that I could practice on myself so that it wouldn't hurt anymore when he did. Now, at some point, did your father stop being nice? Yes. Approximately how old were you? I was uh, 11 years old, it was just after I finished swimming. What do you mean by finished swimming? Uh, swimming had ended. I ended swimming and uh, <coughs> it was started after that point. I don't understand what you mean by you ended swimming. Does that mean you... Swimming had stopped. He had told me that I had to take uh, a certain course in sports. I was either tennis, soccer, swimming. I just, I just didn't know. I was, it was real confusing. He sat down with me and he, and, he, and he came over to me and he said, what sport do you want to play? You have to choose a sport. Because I was 11 years old and he said I was becoming a man and it was time to choose a sport. And so I said tennis. Later, I found out that he didn't want me to choose tennis, that he wanted me. I, I blame myself. I thought maybe he wanted me to do swimming. But at the time, I thought he wanted me to choose tennis because Lyle had gone into it. Now, what was it, Mr. Menendez, that happened that made you think that your father was upset with you for having given up swimming? Uh, he wasn't nice anymore during the sex. You have to put the mic in. He wasn't nice anymore during the sex. Now, do you recall the first time that he wasn't nice during the sex? Yes. Yes. And you were 11? I was 11. The reason you're having trouble is it's not facing you. Face it. I know. I, I, need, I need to use the restroom. I need a break. Okay, we'll take a recess and we'll resume at 3.30, or 2.30, I'm sorry, 2.30, ladies and gentlemen. Don't discuss the case with anyone or form any opinions about it. We'll resume at 2.30. So you may resume your direct examination. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Menendez, this particular incident when you were 11, um, do you remember it? Yes, very well. How do you think about this incident in relation to things that happened both before and after? I, uh, it's one that just really stands out in my mind. It, is, it, is it one of the worst things that happened to you? Yes. And thinking about it, do you remember what was happening in the house, anything you heard or saw before this incident actually began? Yes. What was it that was happening? I heard uh, some fighting with my parents downstairs. Who was fighting with your parents? My mom and my dad were fighting. Between themselves? Yes. Was this a physical altercation or a verbal fight? Uh, I didn't know if it was physical. I just heard the verbal. I just heard them yelling at each other. Okay. And what happened after you heard them yelling at each other? I heard my father coming up the stairs. And what house are you in? Pennington. Okay. And um, what happened when your father got up the stairs? He came toward my room. Uh, all I could think about was him coming toward my room and how I was hoping he wasn't going to do that. Do what? Come toward my room. Why? because I didn't want him to come into my room when he was angry. 
Even if he was angry at someone else? Yes. Did you think that it was going to be something sexual? No, I didn't think it was going to be something sexual if he was angry at that time. Okay, what did you think was going to happen if he was angry at that time? I thought he was just going to take out the belt or hit me or throw me someplace. I didn't know what was going to happen. Did you know what the topic of the argument was between your mother and father? <laughs> no. Did you have any concerns about what it might have been? Yeah, I, I was concerned that it might have been over me. Had there been arguments in the past over you? Yes. And had any of those arguments in the past over you resulted in your father physically hurting you? Yes, he would get angry with mom and they would yell back and forth and then he'd come to my room and just hit me or whatever. So did you think it was possibly one of those episodes about to occur? Yes, that's what I thought was about to occur. So if you could tell us what happened, in fact, when he came into your room on this occasion. Uh, he came into the room and he told me to kneel down on my bed. Okay. And, uh, and I did and he, he came over to my bed and threw me off the bed and uh, told me to kneel on the floor. And you I made was, a sweeping motion with your right hand when you said he... Yeah, he just threw me um, with his hand on my arm here. He, he took you by on the arm and threw you off the bed? Yes. And said? And said for me to get on my knees on the floor. And I was real confused because he had just said to get on my knees on the bed. And so I didn't know what to do. What did you think was going to happen when he told you to get on your knees on the bed? I thought it might have been some sort of sex. Why did you think that? Because when he told me to get on my knees in the bed, usually um, what would happen would be for me to have some sort of sex with him, but it was strange because he didn't tell me to take off my clothes. He didn't help me take off my clothes like he used to do. He just told me to kneel on the bed, and I didn't understand why. I didn't know what was going on. So did you then kneel on the floor as he ordered you to do? Yes. And was he dressed? Yes. Okay, what happened? Uh, first of all, did it hurt when he threw you off the bed? I hit my head against the wall, but I wasn't thinking about that. Okay, what happened next? He was unbuckling his pants, um, and he, he pulled out his penis. And uh, in some way, either by his hand on my head or by telling me, he told me he wanted me to um, massage his penis with my mouth. And uh, did you do that? Yes. And you had done that before, hadn't you? Yes. Had you ever done it being on the floor on your knees? No. Mr. Menendez, is this the beginning of what you came to call knees? Yes. And did you call it that because of the position you had to take? Yes. And what happened ultimately in this uh, episode? I had to, I had to give him uh, a massage on my knees and, until he started to uh, have an orgasm. And had he ever done that before while you were giving him a mouth massage? No, um, he he had done it not just not in my mouth. I was ready to pull away like I'd always done, and and then he just came on a towel or a sheet, whatever we had with him. So I was about to pull away because I didn't know what was going to happen because we weren't on a bed and I was just kneeling down. And he said, no, swallow. And he held my head to him. And therefore, did he ejaculate in your mouth? Yes. And did you swallow? Partly. Partly. And uh, did this upset you? Yes. And how did you demonstrate being upset? I was crying. And how did he react to your crying? He pushed me away afterwards. And was there, did he say or do anything to you afterwards? Yes. What did he say or do? He said, why can't you just be like your brother? What did that mean? I thought he just meant, why do I have to cry all the time? And was he, um, what was his tone of voice when he said this? He was rough and he was angry. Did he at any time in, at this point use the word embarrassment? Uh, 
I don't remember him using the word embarrassment. He just started talking about how I wasn't a Menendez and how I was never going to be good enough to be a Menendez and how he was ashamed to have me as his son. And, and then he said, I get used to it and left. And what were you doing while he was saying these things to you? I was just sitting on the floor crying. And after he left, what happened? I went to the door to see if he was still around the corner, and I just went to the bathroom and threw up. Where was the bathroom in relation to your bedroom? It was just in the middle of the hall. In the middle between what and what? Between my bedroom and my parents' bedroom. Back up from the mic a little bit. And you threw up in the, ba in the bathroom on that occasion? Yes. Now, were there other incidents like this one? after this incident? Yes, this is what started to happen all the time. He no longer had me on the bed. He no longer had me sit on the bed between his legs. He no longer had me lie down on the bed. It was just on my knees. And in addition to your just being on your knees, was his attitude after this different than it had been? Yes, it changed dramatically. And how was he from then on? He was no longer nice. He now yelled at me all the time. He forced me to do things. I had to do whatever he said, and it didn't matter if I complained or if I said no or if I said please stop. He didn't stop. He just, he, he completely changed. And when other episodes like this would occur, uh, did you ever throw up after those? Yes, I threw up almost every time when he, when he would come in my mouth. Now, how far away from your parents' bedroom was this bathroom where you were throwing up? Eight feet, ten feet. And your mother, Mr. Menendez, when you were in the bathroom throwing up because of what your father had done, did your mother ever come to you? No. Were there times up until this point in your life, 11 years old, when you had been ill and thrown up? Yes. And had you thrown up in that very same bathroom? Yes. And when you were ill and threw up, did your mother come in the bathroom? Yes. Did she make inquiry? Yes, she asked me what was wrong. At any time, Mr. Menendez, from this point on, when you were in that bathroom, throwing up, because of sex with your father, did your mother ever come in? No. Now, after this incident at 11, did your mother begin to do something peculiar with respect to your body? 